Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss What is a computer program? How computer program works? What is the need to compile the program? And finally, what are different interpreted and compiled program? The computer program is essentially a set of instructions which directs the computer system to perform user-specified tasks. The computer program is an essential component of the computer system. Let us start by understanding what is a computer program. We are all aware that the computer system is a digital electronic device that can be used to perform some meaningful work, such data processing, calculations, data storage, and other such user-specified work. However, the computer system needs to be programmed to perform any meaningful work. The computer system consists of two essential components, which includes hardware and software components. The software components are computer programs, which consist of set of instructions that directs the computer system hardware components to perform the desired operations. The computer system interprets these program instructions and then performs the desired operations by executing the program instructions one by one. Let us now understand the types of computer programs. As per the computer system architecture, the computer programs can be broadly grouped into two categories. First, the system programs. And second, the application programs. The system software components are designed to operate, control, and extend the processing capabilities of the computer system and the other hardware devices connected to the computer system. The system software is also designed and developed by the computer manufacturer to communicate with specific hardware component connected to the computer system such as camera, printer, scanner, and other such devices. The operating system which manages and control the computer system needs a special program called system software to communicate with the hardware component. Each hardware component connected to the computer needs a system software that allows the operating system to communicate with that hardware component or device. And therefore, whenever a device is connected to the computer system, either internally or externally, essentially needs a system software which is commonly referred to as device driver in order to operate that device. The operating system itself is a type of system software. Let us now understand what is application software. The application software or program is a term used for the program created for a specific purpose. The application software provides a specific functionality to the user. The application software can be a single program or group of programs used by the end user. The application software, also commonly referred to as application or simply an app. The application programs are designed to provide the user-friendly interface to the computer user and also provides the functionality to perform various tasks on the computer system. For example, we generally use Microsoft Word program for creating document, PowerPoint program for making presentation, and Excel spreadsheet software for creating the spreadsheets. The application program is written in high-level programming language such as C language, Java, C++, Python, or any other high-level programming language. However, the high-level program needs to be converted to machine code instructions in binary, and this conversion is referred to as program compilation. Let us now understand what is program compilation. The computer programs written high-level programming language must be first converted to machine code in binary. The microprocessor inside the computer can understand and execute only binary code which consists of only zeros and one. And therefore, the higher level computer programs are first converted to binary code by using a special system program called the compiler and this conversion process is referred as program compilation. The program compilation is a process in which a human readable program code written any programming language such as C language, C++, Java, Python is converted into a machine readable code in binary 
that CPU can decode and execute. The compiler program only converts the program source code into the object code in binary. However, this object code cannot be directly sent for execution by the operating system. And therefore, the object code files further needs to be processed by another program called the linker. The linker is a type of system software which is built into the compiler itself. The linker links all the object code files and builds an executable file which the computer CPU can directly execute. Let us now understand the difference between compiled program and interpreted program. The programming languages can be broadly categorized into either interpreted language or compiled language. In case of compiled language, the compiler accepts the entire program source code and converts into the machine code in binary. For example, the C language compiler converts the entire source code into the machine readable executable code. This executable code can be directly executed by the computer system. Whereas, in the case of interpreted language, the interpreter converts the source code into the intermediate code. The interpreter first converts the program statements into an intermediate code. Another system program then converts this code into the native machine code. And therefore, the execution process is relatively slower in case of interpreted language. For example, the Java program compiler first converts the Java program source code into an intermediate byte code, which is platform independent. And the Java virtual machine JVM then converts this intermediate byte code into the native machine code. That brings us to the end of this tutorial, and in this tutorial, we have discussed what is a computer program and program compilation process. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to this channel. Please visit our website, learncomputerscienceonline.com, to learn computer science online. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with another computer science tutorial.